Hello everyone, welcome to Stellar Data Recovery. In this video, we will show you the steps to mount or dismount a mailbox database in Exchange Server 2010, 2013, 2016, and 2019. We can use the Exchange Admin Center or PowerShell command in Exchange Management Shell to mount or dismount the mailbox database in Exchange Server. To dismount a mailbox database using the Exchange Admin Center, open the Exchange Admin Center and log in as administrator. Go to Server's Database and select the database you want to dismount. Click on the three dots and select Dismount. Confirm Yes. This will dismount the database from the server. Please note that the users whose mailboxes are hosted on this dismounted mailbox database cannot log in or access their mailboxes. To mount a mailbox database, select the dismounted mailbox database and click the three dots. Choose the mount option and confirm by clicking yes. This will take a few seconds to mount the mailbox database. Now users will be able to log in and access their mailboxes. After mounting the database, check the content index state. It should be healthy. Now let's dismount and mount the mailbox database in Exchange Server using PowerShell commands. You can use the following PowerShell commands and execute them in Exchange Management Shell, EMS, to mount or dismount a mailbox database. So first, let's check the database mount status. Open Exchange Management Shell as administrator and run this command. Get mailbox database status, FT name, server mounted. This will display the mailbox database mount status, that is, whether the database on your Exchange server is mounted or dismounted. To dismount a database, run the following command. Dismount database, identity, and then enter the mailbox database name. Press enter and then press A, and then press the enter key to confirm. Now, if you check the status using get mailbox database, status, FT name, server mounted. It will show the mailbox database as dismounted. To mount a dismounted exchange database, run the following command. Mount database, identity, and then the name of the mailbox database. Press enter. Check the status using Get Mailbox Database, Status, FT Name, Server Mounted. As you can see, the mailbox database is mounted. However, if you can't mount the database using EAC or EMS, check the following exchange services are running. If the services are in the stop state, right click on the service and choose Start. You may also restart the server and then try to mount the database. We also recommend you to check if there are any pending updates and install them as they may prevent certain exchange services from starting automatically on reboot. Finally, if you still can't mount the database, it's possibly inconsistent or damaged. You can attempt database recovery using EZUTIL or use exchange recovery software, such as Stellar Repair for Exchange. The software recovers mailboxes from corrupt, damaged or inaccessible exchange database and restores the recovered mailboxes to a new database on a live exchange server or office 365 so this is how you can mount or dismount mailbox databases on exchange 2010 sp1 and later versions in case you have any queries or facing issues while mounting or dismounting the mailbox database please let us know via the comment section if you find this video helpful hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos related to Microsoft Exchange Server. Thanks for watching.